guys, I'm Kiahi Day Boiders. We're here in one of my favorite places in the world, Byron Bay. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to flight board. Now, we do recommend at least one lesson at an official flight school. If you're not able to get to a flight school, watch this video carefully. Take it from me, you'll get flying sooner if you go slowly. Take time to practice each step before moving to the next. Before we get started, let's talk about safety. When learning, there is a potential to fall on the board, wings or mast. Always wear a helmet and approve personal flotation device. Be careful not to kick anything sharp when swimming near the board. Keep hands or feet away from the propeller. The motor is powerful and a serious injury could result from coming into contact with it. Regulations vary from state to state and country to country. So check whether you need a license or registration and the specific rules in your area. It's important to choose a suitable location, clear of obstacles and traffic, and at least one and a half meters deep remaining at a distance of at least 150 metres from swimmers and other water users. It's much easier to learn in smooth water. Take particular care if the bottom surface is a hard surface or rocks. That could scratch and damage the carbon wings and board. Soft sand is best. Okay, now we're gonna get the board ready and on the water. Review our assembly instructions and video to prepare the board. Do a quick test to practice arming the board and running the motor before you enter the water. Never run the motor out of the water for more than a few seconds. You can carry the board by holding one handle and the mast. The complete setup weighs more than 25 kilos, so take care or get a friend to help if required. You can push the board out to deep water on its side or upside down. Don't flip the board over in water less than one and a half meters deep or chest height. Now, let's get the motor going and moving across the water. Lie on the board. Position so that you can touch the front of the board with your hand, or the front handle if using the flight board air. Once moving, you'll want to keep your weight toward the front of the board. The controller should be set to power level 1. Arm the motor by placing the handset on the arming pad, and when you see the motor unlock and count down on the screen, gently squeeze the trigger. The board will start to move slowly. On level 1, you will only be moving slowly. You'll need to hold the trigger all the way in. Use your thumb to change gear using the plus and minus buttons. Practice gradually increasing and decreasing speed between level 1 and 4. Be sure to keep enough weight on the front of the board to keep the nose of the board down and parallel to the water as you accelerate. You may need to shift your weight forward as you increase your speed. If you're a heavy rider, or using the pro board, the board may sink when lying on it. This can cause water to flow over the Bluetooth receiver, which blocks the signal. Keep your weight back to keep the receiver above the water line when arming, and then shift your weight forward as you get moving. Okay, now it's time to get to your knees. Experiment to find the right speed level for you. You wanna be moving fast enough for the board to be stable, but not so fast that you're bouncing up and down in the chop. The ideal power level depends on your board choice and weight. Generally, you want to be riding at a speed of between 6 and 10 kilometers per hour before moving to your knees. Be very careful not to let go of the trigger when moving through transitions. Practice holding the trigger all the way in when transitioning to your knees and feet. Even releasing the trigger a small amount will upset the balance and could cause you to sink or crash. While traveling at your chosen constant speed, place both hands on the board and slide both knees under you on the board while pushing your body up. Position your knees in front of the lid hinges, being careful not to hit them. If this position causes the nose to sink, you're likely going too slowly. If you start foiling and crash getting to your knees, you're going too fast and have your weight too far back. Once on your knees, shift your body weight forward to keep the nose down. Spend time balancing on your knees and changing speeds. Foiling on your knees. Once you feel ready, you can practice starting to foil on your knees by increasing your speed to between 18 and 25 kilometers per hour, depending on your weight, and carefully moving your head and upper body backwards. You'll know when you're foiling when the splashing sound stops, and you can only hear the faint whine of the motor. As soon as you foil, move your upper body forward to touch down again. Practice this skill and notice how very subtle changes in your weight engage the wing to bring the board up and down. Okay, now it's time to stand up. Select a power level where the board feels stable and supported, 
but not yet planing, which will create bumps and making standing more difficult. Depending on your weight, a speed between 8 and 12 km per hour is ideal. From your knees, place your dominant foot in the space in front of your knees. Your toes should be near the front of the foot pad and slightly to one side. Get your balance and then slowly stand from a lunge position with as much weight as possible pushing through your front leg. Don't forget to keep the throttle trigger engaged. Weight on your front foot keeps the board and nose down, which keeps the foil in the water. Standing up with weight on your rear foot can result in the foil engaging and an unintended crash. Be careful not to let go of the throttle trigger as you stand up. Your speed should remain constant for a smooth ride to make standing as easy as possible. Once standing, your chest and nose should be aligned with or in front of your front knee to help keep weight forward. Before you increase your speed, check to ensure your feet are in the correct position. The ideal body position is with your body twisted forward, with your front foot just behind the front of the deck grip and with your rear foot 5 centimeters in front of the latches. Feet should be hip width apart and slightly offset. Practice slowly adding speed. The foil, motor and the board's bow wave all want to push the nose up, so you need to push down hard through your front leg while you accelerate. Weight on your front foot with your body leaning forward is safe as it keeps the foil in the water. Whenever you become uncomfortable, shift as much weight as you can towards the nose of the board. Foiling. Okay, it's time to start flying. Once comfortable riding at medium speeds, practice going faster. The ball will start to plane and flatten off. Keep your weight forward. When you're comfortable riding at a minimum flying speed, between 20 and 25 kilometers per hour, you're ready to take off. Riding at a constant speed, gradually transfer weight backwards by releasing pressure off your front foot. Do this very carefully with your weight over the center line of the board and your core engaged. As soon as you feel the board leave the water, you hear the noise change. Immediately lean forward and touch down. Okay, you flew for the first time. Foiling is a new experience and your brain must get used to a new way to balance. If you crashed, don't worry, have another try. The goal is to foil as low as possible for very short sections. Try foiling for five meters at a time and then touching down again. That's all you need to do. Practice this and your brain will work out the rest. The balance point will come naturally. You'll foil for longer sections and then continuously. The safest and fastest way to learn is to foil low and practice touching down again. Trying to get too high too quickly exposes you to a crash where you can hit the wings. You lose your confidence and learning takes longer. Pro tips. Unlike surfing, you control the board more with your front foot. Always jump away from the board in the direction you are falling. This takes you away from the foil. Keep your weight forward and press down through your front knee. Ensure your feet are in the correct position. Don't vary your speed, it will only unsettle the foil and make balance harder. Like an aeroplane, the foil wings need a constant speed for smooth flying. Don't try and foil going too slow, the wings will stall and you'll crash. Don't try and turn on the foil until you're very comfortable in a straight line. Turning while foiling requires careful balance on all axes. Start by doing very shallow turns. As you gain experience, you can try tighter turns. Packing up. Make sure you read through the entire storage and maintenance section of the instruction manual before packing your board away. All right, thanks for watching guys. Please let us know if you have any comments, questions or feedback.